20's Greatest Hits, 95.5. Oh, no, Eric Clapton. Oh, shot nice. the Oh, no, like, 8.24. Time for the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One, Coleman Street, Belleville, the one store for your perfect floor. Sad day. Once again, I did not make the cover of People for the Most Beautiful People issue. What's going on? I got knocked off by J-Lo. But if you're going to be knocked off by someone, a 41-year-old mother of twins, you might as well be her. Yeah. <laughs> J-Lo can knock me anytime she wants. But she says being beautiful is not easy. And she says it's just all part of her job. And she doesn't want anyone thinking it's easy. It takes time and hard work. And HD TV widescreen is nobody's friend, girlfriend. That's right. So, that's right. There you go. Former champ Sugar Ray Leonard says he put up a good fight, but not good enough for the viewers of Dancing with the Stars. The legendary boxer was knocked out of the competition last night. 19-year-old American Idol studio audience member claims that she was barred from an on-camera seat and told it was because of her weight. The show's production company denies that allegation. Attorneys for music producer Phil Spector are trying to overturn his murder conviction on the basis that the judge made mistakes in his trial. His first trial ended in a mistrial. The second resulted in conviction with Spector serving 19 years to life in prison. Jeff Timmons of 98 Degrees will perform with the Chippendale Dancers, but it's not certain if he'll be taking off a shirt or not. He's billed as a special musical guest star for the Chippendales' performance in Las Vegas, May 12th through June 5th. And the reason Jackie Robinson was such a good baseball player is because of a little girl. If you believe Carly Simon, she was the little girl. Simon's father was uh, Simon & Schuster founder Richard Simon, and she says her family was friends with Robinson's. He'd take her to games, and she says he referred to her as his lucky charm. The Winklevoss twins, made famous in the social network, have lost their court battle with Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and must now accept a mere $65 million in cash and stock settlement offered as a payment for their role in establishing the social website. Oh, the shame. NBC TV is supersizing Steve Carell's final episode of The Office April 28th, making it a 50-minute special. Well, they couldn't give him the whole 60? Oh, wow. Dave and Victoria Beckham already have one kid named after a city, Brooklyn, and now the singer-turned-designer wants to name her unborn baby girl... Albuquerque. Santa, after Santa Monica, California. Oh. Uh, Tom Cruise has reportedly hired Axl Rose voice coach in order to help him hit the high notes in the upcoming big-screen version of the musical Rock of Ages. And Carrie Underwood tells People.com she considers herself more housewife than celebrity. She says, I never go out to eat. I never do anything. That's why I consider myself not a celebrity, a normal person who sings on stage and has a boatload of money. No kidding. And here you go. This is your sign of the fifth sign of the apocalypse. Here it comes. Justin Bieber is performing two shows in Israel. And tonight he's scheduled for a private meeting with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Netanyahu in his office. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Can you imagine what what the Prime Minister and Bieber talking about? Oh my gosh! Celebrating a birthday today, share the state with musician Al Green. He's sixty five today, and singer People Bryson is sixty. That's the Hollywood Hot Seat, brought to you by Carpet One and Quinny's Greatest Hits, ninety five five Hits FM.